माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव में टुडे इन माय जीके क्लास आई शैल इंट्रोड्यूस लेसन नंबर थर्टी थ्री ओपन एट पेज नंबर फोर्टी फोर ओपन एट पेज फोर्टी फोर इन दिस लेसन देर आर सम फ्लैग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इन दिस फ्लैग्स देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कलर्स नाउ यू हैव टू रिकॉग्नाइज the names of the flags of different countries of the world and uh, for this reason uh, i shall give you uh, some uh, you know passwords you just uh, take out your password copies and uh, following your books all of you draw the flags of different countries of the world and recognize the flags Uh, of uh, the countries of the world, the name of the countries, the the names of the flags of different countries of the world. You have to recognize it. Initially, you uh, consult your text and watch my class, and then you draw in your classwork copies, and that will be your uh, and that classwork copies. Also, you have to submit for correction. Now, first, I'm showing you. I'm writing the name of the the lesson first in the board. The name of the lesson, lesson number thirty-three. flags of different countries flags of different countries here i am showing you the book here are the uh, flags of different countries of the world uh, depicted in your book i am showing you here there are some flags uh, you have to find out the name of the countries the first one this is the flag of which country in the beginning i am showing you one flag of one country of the world you have to find out the name of the country this flag belongs understood so what is the name of the country this flag uh, this flag uh, you know uh, identifies this flag represents name the country this flag represents the country name the country this flag represents okay what is the name of the country of this flag you have to uh, write it in your class work copy then second one another flag is there what is the name of the country of this flag you have to recognize it then another flag also is there what is the what is the name of this country of this flag this flag represents which country you have to find out you have to write the name of the country the next one flag number 4 this flag name the country this flag represents what is the name of the country this flag represents and next one what is the name of the country this flag represents name the country this flag represents and next one name the country this flag represents name the country this flag represents name the country this flag represents okay so by this way here you know here there are uh, many uh, countries flags mentioned in the book in the text now you have to uh, write down the names of the flags in the you know in this uh, uh, in this book there are Twelve flags. In this group, there are twelve flags. So you have to write the names of the countries of 
these flags one by one you have to write the names of these flags you know in this uh, book here there are uh, some uh, uh, you know uh, countries names also are mentioned in this book some countries names also are mentioned for your conveniences so that you can recognize you can find out the correct na correct names okay i am uh, uh, i am reading the names of the country first england second pakistan third australia fourth south uh, saudi arabia five russia six china seven canada eight bhutan nine india ten nepal eleven new zealand and twelve south africa so these are the twelve countries names mentioned in the book and uh, following these uh, names you have to choose the correct names the names which are matchable to the flag you have to find out it and write down first of all uh, in your crossword copies all of you draw the flags properly and then you choose the correct name the name which is matchable to the flag then mention the name uh, uh, to the right side or to the left side or to the upper side wherever uh, it should be applicable you may choose the place and write down and by this way you have to write down the names of the countries and uh, this is the homework uh, uh, you must make it in your crossword copies and submit it to me in the school and uh, now uh, before discussing about uh, the uh, geographical economic condition of these countries i would like to analyze certain points of these countries initially china china is a country of which continent can you tell me china is a continent a country of which continent is it in europe is it in africa is it in asia is it in australia can you tell me you have to think it in your mind keep it in your mind china is a country of such a continent we belong that means we are uh, from asian country our country we are we are living in a, a country india this country belongs to asian continent clear Sim similarly china also is a country of asian continent okay china also is a country of asia and uh, others like russia canada these are the countries of europe you know but latin america also is there and uh, bhutan also is there bhutan is in, in it is in asia saudi arabia mid east india in asia our country and uh, pakistan also in asia russia belongs to asia england europe nepal asia so so these are the countries uh, you have to write down the correct names uh, uh, of the countries as per uh, the you know flags mentioned in the book and at the same time you have to mention the uh, continents of the respective countries now every free country in this world you know every free country now what is the importance of the flags i am going to discuss about why uh, does each and every country have a flag of their own of his or her own each and every country of this world has its own flag now what is the importance of flags and why are uh, flags used every every free country in the world has its own flag and why in order to symbolize the glory in order to symbolize the collective pride 
of that nation each and every country of this world has its own flag the flag stars feelings of nationalism the 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 flags represents not only the nationalism of of any country but at the same time it communicates the message of a uh, message of country's people their culture the cultural heritage their glory their image their you know uh, economic growth their fundamental structure of the country their economic structure of the country their economic prosperity each and every uh, everything everything of a country represents through its flags since a flag is a symbol of nation's honor and prestige that's why it should always be hosted during a special occasion and it is uh, it should be hosted and infused with due respect in our country in each and every country during independence day flags are hosted by different countries of the world and while hosting they always the country's head always a representative a uh, head or representatives always communicate always convey message of his or her country for the world so that other country must learn something on hearing their prosperity their development and growth that's why my dear students flags are hosted and flags are important for each and every country of the world here there are some parties you know flags our country india had it has its own flag pandit jawaharlal nehru you know the first prime minister he hosted first india three color flag beside the river ravi of pakistan in the year 1929 and demanded complete independence purna saaj for our country the day when he did it india was under british rule pandit jawaharlal nehru was one of the most important congress leader one of the most important congress leaders dedicated his life for the cause of country's independence Mahatma Gandhi the father of the nation Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Sarojini Naidu and so on dedicated their lives for the cause of country's independence since india is our country we are indians and our country has its own identity national pride glory image that's why i am discussing specially about our country's national heritage and is the importance of it, the flag of our country while hosting the flag during midnight beside the river ravi of pakistan in the year 1929 pandit jawaharlal nehru who was the president of the lahore session of the congress took an oath 
that the country India would be freed of British control. It would become independent at the cost of lives of millions of people of India who sacrifice their lives for the noble cause of country's independence. The British humiliated them. The British oppressed, adopted the policy of oppression. Ultimately, India's first tricolor flag was hosted by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in the year 1929 by the, by the riverside of Ravi of Pakistan. So this is the glory, this is the image of such a national leader of our country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. India's first, first tricolor flag was hosted by himself by him for the first time raising the demand of complete independence. Not dominion status under, under British rule, but complete independence. Purno Saraj. That means it belongs to our country. You are foreigners, ruled us for about 200 years. Now, you leave our country and let us try to rule our country. Let us rule our country. We have capability to rule our country. So, as Indians, we will rule our country and you no need to be here. Please leave the country. We need complete independence, Poor Nusharaj, by raising India's first three-color flag when the Jawaharlal Nehru demanded it, my dear students. So these are the importance of flags of different countries of the world. I especially mention about our flag since our country, we belong to uh, India and it is our first and foremost duty to glorify our country's image under which circumstances had India's first tricolor flag been hosted by first Prime Minister of our country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, I clarified it for your better understanding, for your knowledge. So all of you must keep it in your mind, my dear students. So this is your classwork. You must uh, once again, I would like to remind you, my dear students, all of you must uh, draw the name, uh, draw the flags of different countries of the world and uh, recognize the names of the countries in your copies and submit it to me. And uh, also, you uh, uh, write down the names of the country, from which country, um, uh, what is the capital of the country, and you mention the name of the continent of the countries and then submit your copies. Thank you, my dear students.